Alrighty, we are back. So today we're gonna to find out what we get with a PRS electric guitar made in the United States. Let's open it up. Now I'm sure there's a lot of people who missed episode one. If you did miss that, I'll pop it up in the cards and you can check that out. For those who are unfamiliar with the series, we take a look mostly at what else you get in the case other than the guitar. If you wanna hear this particular guitar at any point, click the cards as well. I'll post a link up there and you can have a listen to how it actually sounds. So let's open it up. Now I mentioned on my Fender video that I don't like these cases quite as much as the Fender Tweed cases visually. Other than that though, they're actually really, really good. And look at that. Holy crap. What a beautiful, beautiful looking guitar. This thing, <laughs> that's stunning. And yes, it's a lefty. We're gonna take a quick look at this just to show you and then we'll get focused on everything else that's in the case. Wow, that is just absolutely beautiful. Check out these inlays. Man, oh man, stunning, absolutely stunning. So let's put this aside and we'll see what we get with it. All right, now it looks like we don't get anything. Now, for those wondering what this is, this tag here was the tag we got. It was basically on the side or on one of the tuning pegs. It tells you exactly what the guitar is, when it was built and who checked it and all that kind of stuff. Odds are if you're gonna be spending six to $8,000 on a PRS, you gotta know exactly what it is, but it's always good to have one of these for reference. So there we go. Now, we don't necessarily have anything else, do we? But we do. This particular panel here is a really cool little hidden spot. You can store your cables and so forth. And we also get a bag of goodies. So we're gonna open this up and see what's in there. I'll lay out everything across the case so we can see it in more detail. So just to make mention, not everything in this bag is exciting. The first thing that we have though is the tool. So we have some Allen keys and so forth for adjusting the intonation and also the neck. So I'm gonna leave them in the bag so I don't lose them. There's also a screw in there as well, which I'm not exactly sure what that's for just now, but I'll take a look later. We have a little envelope here as well. This particular thing has the keys for the case. So that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna open that either because this isn't mine. <laughs> Up next, we have a descriptions and operating instructions manual as well. There we go. It's quite thick, actually. It's got probably 30 or 40 pages. 42 pages. Wow. So there we go. We also have a parts and accessories guide to buying more merchandise from PRS, including pickups, hats, straps, and all kinds of stuff. And yeah, great. We have this. This is an important card. And it just basically tells you if anything's damaged to notify them. Uh, we have a Paul Reed Smith PRS warranty card as well. Now, out of all the guitars I've owned over the years, I've never once sent one of these in. Maybe I should, I don't know. I always just end up throwing those out. We have a Paul Reed Smith big sticker as well. It's actually quite large. Looks pretty cool. And lastly, this is it, the Whammy Bar. And that is all you get with a Paul Reed Smith electric guitar. At least this particular Paul Reed Smith electric guitar. Now, to put it in context, in Australia, this guitar is about the same price, believe it or not, as a custom shop Fender guitar of some description, whether it be a Tally or a Strat or whatever. So yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful guitar. No doubt about it, this thing looks stunning. And the whammy bar goes right in there. Not like that though, I have only just put it in slightly, but yeah, it's a stunning instrument. Yeah, so that's what you get, interesting stuff. Thanks for watching, my name's Shane. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. What do you think of the stuff that you get with the guitar? Are you happy with sort of like the bare bones or would you prefer to get something a little bit better being that the guitar is so expensive? We're gonna take a look at not only guitars, but basses and other stuff, maybe like the Kemper profiling app as well, just to see what else we get in the box. Thanks again for watching. I know it's random, but I thought, why not? My name's Shane, I will catch you soon. See ya.